How is the microphone working? Yes, it is. All right, how do I figure out if this is even working? Ooh, it says iPad Rehab is going live. Let's see, is it? Mm, don't forget, you're a standard moderator for this channel. Oh, learn more. Okay, maybe this is working. I have reinstalled all of my software. I had to reinstall the four channel graphics output video card and maybe this is working i don't know let's go to docs load docs because i want to show you guys this iphone 13 that's on my desk that's crazy see if we can get some data off of it all right let's see load docs for chat does that work mm, doesn't look very oh it it is it is working I can see the chat. Hello, everybody. I'm still alive. Can you believe that? I've been uh, traveling, teaching. We did some distance courses, which was really fun. I went to Wyoming. I went to North Carolina. And now I'm back here in Honey Eye Falls for Halloween. I'm getting ready to go trick-or-treating. And first, let's look at this iPhone 13. So iPhone 13 was sent here from a you know, just a, another like data recovery company with a note that says, Hey, they sent it somewhere else for first before sending it to these guys. So beware, you know, it's going to have a prior repair attempt, which, you know, sometimes that's the case. So I took the board out and I was like, what is going on with this? And I would really like to know, you know, is this, who worked on this and is this like something that people are doing to their iphone 13s that i just haven't seen before so we're gonna disconnect all this stuff all right here we go here's the logic board and it's just a regular good old iphone 13 and it looks a little bit beat up definitely has a prior repair attempt so let's see just wanted to say hi i usually don't do ipads and ipods <laughs> I don't do iPads or iPods either. <laughs> um, I was going to, I had to remake the channel, uh, the little thing down there, and I was going to make it just say iPad rehab. We don't fix iPads except for Christy. If you have an iPad, send it to Christy and iPad rehab. Nobody else knows anything about iPads but Christy. But let's take a look at this. So let's grab the microscope. Tell me if I'm crazy and people have been doing this to iPhone 13s, or is this crazy? I don't know, it could go either way. All right, let's take a look. So let me try to get rid of hand cam and bring over the microscope. All right, here we are. What the heck is that? All right, let's see if I can bring this down, focus. All right, so let's take a look together at this board. All right, so it's a little bit bright. Let's try to make it make sense all right something like that okay so looking at the board just together you don't do ipads that's crazy no i don't do ipads i don't know anything about ipads except for occasionally i teach the charge port section of the course once a month when we do the course actually even christy does that a lot of the time uh, but no i don't I don't do iPads anymore, personally. All right, so somebody's taking this sticker off, and that's okay, looks a little rough. And somebody has, aha, uh -huh. somebody's decided to iPad Rehab Short Killer, a common component, a capacitor there that may or may not have been short, but they kicked it off. I was looking at the board and it was right around here that I started, oh, there's some glass, right around here that I started going, what is going on here because of, of this? Do you guys see that? Like there's like something melted there. What is that? So this is like gooey and that is like some kind of sludge coming out. It's like an Oreo cookie where the filling has gone bad. So let's turn it on the side and, and see. 
All right. I'm getting a thermal camera for Christmas. Would you sign it? It's one of these guys. I don't know how I could. It's so tiny. I mean, I could try. Sure. I'll sign it. I'll sign your thermal cam. Look at this. What the heck is this? Is like a Halloween board. Look at this. this is black ooze. What is this? And if you look, it goes all the way around. Check this out. All the way around. You know, this is the original. Look at this. This is the original sticker is shoved under the, the top layer. Somebody has separated this iPhone 13 and then they glued it back together. What? Do you see this? This tell me that this is not something that that somebody out there in a video is telling people to do, right? This is this is horrible. This is a disaster. This is a zombie board for Halloween. Look at this stuff. They have put held the two boards together with snot to why would you do this? Look, if you take the boards apart, if you separate them, that means you, you have the equipment to separate, right? You've got, you know, one of these and you're putting heat on it. You know what you're doing. You've got a microscope. You're separating the layers. And then if for whatever reason you don't fix the board to get the data out, then just leave it separated for the next guy. It's, what the heck? Gluing it back together. Oh my gosh. All right. It's their own version of underfill. Isn't that just, that's terrible. So I am afraid of what I'm going to find when I separate these again. And I'm afraid of what's going to happen when I try, but that's going to be our next step. So I'm not going to do anything to this board until we get it unglued. I mean, I don't even know what's the best way to do it. Like, I guess, I don't know. What would you do, chat? What is the best way to unglue some boards that are held together with some, you know, snotty cold press? Ugh. 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 What's the least messy way for me to get these things apart? Should I just stick it right back on one of these things and heat it up? I kind of feel like taking that antenna off right now, but maybe I will wait on that. All right. Heat and rip. Okay. I like that. I like that plan. The heat and rip plan. Is this even going to fit on there now? Like what's on, what's going on back here? All right. That seems pretty normal. Okay. Heat and rip. I'm going to have to find my glasses so I can stick this on here. Oh, man. Who is going trick-or-treating? What do you think is the age? What's like the max age for trick-or-treating? My twins are turning 13. Can you believe that? Tomorrow. 13 tomorrow, which means 13 years ago when I was pregnant with twins, nine months pregnant, I painted my giant pregnant belly like a bass drum and I got a little drum hat and two uh, drum, what are those things called? Drum beaters, drumsticks with a big bass drum drumsticks and walked around the neighborhood. Super fun. I can't believe that they were born the very next day and now they're about to turn 13. They're gonna be teenagers. That's unbelievable. All right. Shoddy res kids. Who did this? Do you know who did this? If you know, I want to figure out who did this because I want to call them up and I want to tell them to knock that shit off <laughs> because this is a mess. Who did this? 43 is the age in which you slow down, but you don't stop until 55. All right. I'm going to, while we have to wait for this to heat up. And since this is a live stream, I'm going to confess. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to confess something publicly, which is, to, to be fair, when I was growing up, which was in the 80s, my mom said no trick-or-treating because, you know, the, the candy might be contaminated. Now, this was back when people were going around to the Tylenol and putting cyanide in it and some people died. 
So she freaked out. She was like, that's it, no trick-or-treating. And we had to do trick-or-treating's uh, very sad cousin called trick-or-treating for UNICEF. So we had the little boxes, a little slot, you go to the neighbors, trick-or-treat for UNICEF. They would put a quarter, and you mail those quarters off to somebody. And that was, that's what we had. So we missed out on trick-or-treating as little kids. So when I was in my 20s, this is after college, I was in grad school. My sister and I, this is after my mom was dead. So my sister and I decided that we were going to go trick-or-treating as at age like 23, 20, 24 maybe. So we dressed up in costumes and we got a Goodwill, which were hilarious. And she, this is the confession, right? My sister printed out photographs of two sweet little girls that she used to babysit for. And we walked around in Baltimore to dozens of houses with the little pumpkins and the picture of the girls. And we would go knock, knock, knock. We said, trick or treating for sick kids. God, can you imagine that? I, just the guilt, it's a heavy yoke of guilt. And people be like, oh, here you go. Those kids weren't sick, they were totally fine. We're just, and they had no idea. So I apologize. That was the wrong thing to do. But that was the last time that I went trick or treating before having kids of my own. And then I've been every year since. All right, let's see. Uh, 39 going in a gorilla suit. It looks real, and I can still run fast on all fours. That would be impressive. I would give candy to somebody in a gorilla suit. All right, this is up to 100 degrees. Is 100 degrees enough to melt the snotty, shoddy glue on here? Ugh, it just feels disgusting. All right, it is, I think, is it? Let's see, let's get this. No, nope, maybe not. Who does this? If this ends up being really hard to get off, then I'm going to get in the car, I'm going to drive across country, stopping at every shop until I figure it out Ugh! Who, like, wiped a, their nose off and used it to hold this board together? Ugh! Gross. All right. Separated. Turn that off. Now, let's see. What's the best way to, to get this goo off? Who does this? <sighs> Who does this? Hello, ma'am, Jessa. Shout out here in Saudi by Remmerworks. Well, hello, Remmerworks. Surely in Saudi Arabia, you guys don't use this snotty glue. Look at this. This looks terrible. Oh, all right. Hold on. Let me get rid of my hand cam. Look at the board now. Ugh. You can't, you can't like get to any of this stuff. I mean, thank goodness the iPhone 13 board is pretty good on its own and it doesn't actually have to talk to the bottom board. But what a massive cleanup operation. It's so gooey and sticky that you're doing to somebody. Look at this. Never do this. Like I get that I made a bit of a clickbaity title, never do this to an iPhone 13, but seriously, never do this. If you're thinking, gee, I don't want them to know I couldn't fix it. Uh, I'm gonna better slap these boards back together so that they will stay together. And I don't wanna just hold them together with screws. Maybe I should go out and, and get some black snot and shove it on the boards and sandwich them together. Maybe I should get some duct tape and kind of melt it and stick it on there. Maybe I should just get like some hot glue from the dollar store and go like this. Don't, just stop back up it'll be okay if you just leave them apart no one will possibly care no one ugh, no one will care leave it off oh this is just gross They're like biohazard all right now let's actually take a look at the board and see why what was its original problem why did they have to separate it to begin with don't know. All right. Everything looks relatively okay other than the wall of black snot. Jeez. All right. I kind of feel like I should get a good effort. 
that's data only, right? It is here from a data recovery company who didn't do this. So I don't know who did this. I want you guys to tell me, oh yeah, there's a shop by me that does that. I've seen that before. I wanna figure out who was it so we can tell them. Never do this to an iPhone 13. All right, here's the bottom board. We don't need the bottom board. Bottom board RF. Ah, we can see some of the original problem here that it really was run over. Look at this. We can see the little pads from the other side of the board. Please don't tell me that this was something like top board boots up just fine, but it doesn't have cell service because it's missing some layers. So I know how to solve that. Glue, smash it together, glue it together. That better not be the reason. All right, so we're gonna be missing a bunch of pads there. Let's look, does it have a big crack in here like some of them get, base bend, PMU, no. All right, visually, just tons of ripped up pads, which is, you know, typical. All right, it's time to find out if there's really anything wrong with this board and if this top board can boot up anyway. All right, so isopropyl alcohol and heat it up. I'm not sure. They covered the problem with the goo. May well be. All right, before we go ahead and just cross our fingers that there's really nothing wrong, which wouldn't surprise me, TBH, if the top board is just fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get the, the thermal paste. So that's the removable goo. This is the typical classic goo put on here from Apple. Not to be confused with the goo put on here by I don't know who. I don't know who's goo. All right, most of that. Oh, where's my trash can? Uh-oh. There we go. I decided to record a video earlier today. Right over there is recovering data from a phone that went to one of those Taylor Swift uh, concerts. So some, some guy took the phone to a Taylor Swift concert and then apparently put the phone on the top of his car, fell off on the side of the road, highway patrol found it. And then I have no clue how they figured it out that it belonged to him. Did he like call highway patrol and say, listen, if you, if you see an iPhone 10 S on the side of the road between my house and uh, the, a Taylor Swift concert two states down, it's mine. <laughs> Could you give it back? How would they find that? But they did. So here it is. And I just got all, I'm taking all the Taylor Swift videos off right now. This guy's gonna be jazz. This guy's a major Swifty. So hopefully we'll be able to turn that into a video. I'm gonna try and have him come in so that we can talk to him and find out this crazy story. All right, let's see. I'm surprised the glue gave space for the balls, just like underfill. I, I don't think the glue was an effective method. So in case the title isn't clear, never, <laughs> never do this. This is bad. I didn't do this. I inherited, I inherited the board like this with this disgusting glue everywhere. Well, I really think I need to get a streaming camera that's like one of those really crystal clear USB just to, to broadcast for, for stream. Okay, Taylor Swift concert. Um, can I have a, what? I can't see the last word. A copy of the concert. I don't get the whole Taylor, Taylor Swift concert thing. Like I, I think Taylor Swift is a talented artist and I love that she like writes her own stuff. Hey Brad. BRB. Hey, how can I help? Uh, do you guys uh, repair iPhone screens? We do repair iPhone screens. Okay. Um, Would you guys be able to do that today? Or? Today. Uh, let me see if I can find Brett. Okay. I'm in the middle of, of uh, a YouTube live stream. So let me dig him up and see if we can do that. Brad, where did you go? All right, let me see if I can find him. Uh, let's see. 
All right, give me one second to track him down. Yeah, Brad. I is here for a screen replacement. Hmm. All right, let's give Brad like a minute to show up. I don't, I don't know if he stepped out for a minute. And then if not, I'll try to help you out. Let's see. Oh, he said, whoops. He says, one minute, I'll be there. Pinch it off, Brad. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's not the same as you recording it from your POV. Okay. Are you sure she won't sue you? Who? Taylor Swift? Uh... Why would she, why would she, there's nothing illegal with recording a video for a concert that you paid for, right? It's all, that's, uh, it's not a, against the law. All right, with this one, let's get back your hand cam. iPhone 13. And we are going to see if it will just boot right up, which would be my preference so we can fix that guy's screen. All right, here's our known good parts. Yeah, 13 regular. Okay. All right. Let me make sure that Brad showed up. He did. So there you have it. Brad is real. All right. Let's stick this stuff on here and see what happens. All right. I'm definitely going to need my glasses, which now I don't know what I did with them. All right, stream. Where did I put my glasses? All right. Let's see. Everyone records concerts. It's a public event. Well, this guy, I think, has some, like, crazy story. So I'm really interested to hear what it is. I don't think there's any world where I'll be able to connect this stuff without being able to see. All right, here we go. All right. There's really nothing visually cracked that I can see. Of course, I can't see under there. So a lot of times with a run over iPhone 13, the problem is on the bottom board. So if you separate the layers, you're good to go. So our hope is that that's the case here, in which case the iPhone 13 top board will turn on by itself and we'll be able to just ignore the glue. Then the real question will be if that's the case, we get the data, are we going to take the glue off to be able to put them back together or are we just going to re-glue it? All right, I got to borrow this cord. Taylor Swift is now extracted. That guy's going to be super happy. And let's see what happens. I got to plug this in. Ooh, it's a lucky one. Boot up. Come on. Boot up. This is just going to drive me crazy. If this boots up, that means somebody took the board in, they hear, oh, I need my data. They said, I got you, man. They separated the layers, taking the bad, oh my God, it did boot. <laughs> they, this is crazy, this is insane. This, <sighs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. This is crazy, who does this? I want to know what shop was this. Please, internet, dig up this shop, figure out who shop this was. It was somewhere, I think somewhere in Arizona. That's the only clue I have. I think it was in Arizona. And they, they would have taken this in from the customer. The problem was on the bottom board. They separate the layers. They see the ripped pads, which don't matter because all of those ripped pads, we saw the ripped pads, they all are connections that we don't need for data recovery. 
They're RF board connections that we don't need. So rather than recover the data from the top board and make the customer happy, they said, what we should do is get out some hot glue and glue it back together. What? What? And then it didn't turn on. And then they were like, ah, nothing you can do. And then that customer had to go to another data recovery company who, you know, I mean, it's not really a good look if you're a data recovery company that you couldn't be like, let me, t let me separate the layers and just recover the data. This is crazy. Never do this to your iPhone 13. My dad lived there, so he probably knows the local shops. We'll go on a hunt, find out who in the Arizona area of that state, I don't even know what city it was, is in the habit of separating, has the stuff to separate, so they've got to do some micro soldering and just slapping boards back together with glue because that's crazy. All right, there you go. This one is now ready to recover. And for you guys, never, never, never get out a hot glue gun, never get out your cold press glue, never get out your super glue, never get out your you know, B7000, none of that. If you want to put the boards back together, you get out some stencil, some solder paste, and one of these guys, all available at iPadRehab.com. Click supply. Happy Halloween. It's time to go trick-or-treating. I will see you guys next time. Now, how do I hit stop? I have no foggy clue on how to stop.